Hi there, I'm Chef Stephen Piles, and in these uncertain times during this pandemic, sometimes there's nothing more comforting than being in your own kitchen. And I'm here to help you make that experience even better. So with the summer coming up, there's nothing more simple and refreshing than ceviches. It's a lot simpler than you think, and they're very healthy. Uh, especially if you find an impeccable source for your fresh seafood, which is not, these, not, not that hard these days. So I've got three different fish, and uh, I've got shrimp here that have been poached lightly. You just want to cook those in a little salted water uh, just for one minute, just to kind of coagulate the proteins. Otherwise, the fish is always raw, cooked with lime juice. Uh, there's, I don't know, there's a controversy as to where uh, ceviche actually started. Some people say Mexico. I say Peru. In Peru, they use these delicious little Peruvian or key lime, key limes. They're really key limes, and that's the juice, and it's a little sweeter than normal. So we use that. I've got some here. I've got the three shrimp, and I'm going to show you this is a bronzini, which you could do halibut or any other cut, a red snapper, and of course the shrimp, the shellfish. So all we do is we take the fresh filet and just slice it very thinly, like this and put that right into the bowl. I've already got some there. So I just wanted to show you what I'm doing here. So just cut it nice and thin, put it right there. And then we're going to um, just dress that or marinate it with our lime juice. So quite a bit, it's like, uh, it's about two limes per, and you're gonna have the recipe for these on the website. So don't worry about writing it down. So you wanna really just get all your lime juice in here. Season it with just a little salt if you want. You don't have to. Just a little bit. And then we're going to mix it up really good and let that sit for a while. And each one is going to have a different uh, kind of accompaniment to it. Really nice, a fresh accompaniment. So we've got our snapper here with the lime juice. So that usually takes just five to seven minutes. And then we add the uh, other ingredients. So let me show you what I've got here. I've got three different things. With the shrimp, I'm going to do a little salsa that's made from oranges and uh, red, uh, yellow bell peppers and a yellow tomato. So we've got some of those and we're going to just, you really just puree it all together. You don't even have to roast it. You just blend it and puree it. So we've got that that's going to go into the shrimp. And then with the bronzino, this is a fun one. I've got a little fennel here. I've got some fennel that I'm just going to slice. And I just want to kind of cut it into quarters, maybe, like that. And I'm going to take some orange juice and some vanilla. So we have our fennel here that we're going to add a little bit of orange juice to and a little olive oil. But it's really important, our vanilla. So we're going to have a little bit of uh, vanilla. Vanilla is an interesting thing. It's uh, actually indigenous to Veracruz. And uh, all the other vanilla around the world that you have, Tahitian, Madagascar, all the great uh, uh, vanillas around the world are all hand done. In other words, uh, they're not naturally pollinated because the only bees uh, specific to that orchid plant live in Veracruz. So it's all hand pollinated around the world except for Veracruz. So we're going to take our um, vanilla and just put it right here into the bowl with a little bit of orange juice and some olive oil. And that's what the um, fennel is going to roast in. We're going to roast it in the orange juice and the, and the olive oil for about 20 to 30 minutes. And here's what we have. This is the beautiful roasted fennel. And then we've saved this cooking liquid. This is the, uh, we call this fennel love. That's the uh, olive oil, the orange juice, and the vanilla, and it's delicious. So we're going to just slice this up a little bit. and Put that right into the ceviche. Now this is really good with other items as well. It'd be great with a, just a broiled piece of fish. And then I'm going, so I've got my lime, my fennel, and a little bit of the fennel love. So we're going to let that sit some more. Might even take a little bit of the fennel greens, chop that up for color. A little more. 
So there's one. Then we're going to do our snapper. And that's going to have avocado and tomatilla. And all I've done is, is taken avocados and some tomatillas and diced them, put them in a blender, keep the avocado whole. Puree the little bit of cilantro, and again, you're going to have these recipes. A little bit of cilantro, some green onion, and uh, serrano for a little spice, depending on how hot you want it. And then add that to the uh, diced avocado. So we've got that here. We're going to add this now to the red snapper. So you've got kind of a rainbow color here also of these different ceviches. Really fresh. Okay, and now our shrimp. We're just going to add a little bit of this orange juice. This was orange juice, golden tomatoes, and uh, golden uh, bell peppers. You'll, you'll see the recipe. We're going to add that. We're going to add a little green onion to that. And then maybe a little cilantro. And I'm going to garnish that at the end with a little micro cilantro. So these are looking good, folks. So let's see here. Got the bronzino. This is a festive little glass you can put it in, a little martini glass. If you want to, you can garnish with a little more of the diced fennel. And probably just a little fennel green, a little, little top, that would be pretty. So there's one. And you can stop at one, but this way you've got three recipes now. So we'll do the um, red snapper with the avocado tomatilla next. Now I think I'm going to garnish this one with a little bit of fresh micro cilantro. So the last one will be our shrimp. Shrimp with all that golden goodness. You know what you could even do? I like people to be really creative when they're making their ceviches. Think of anything golden you want. How about a little saffron in there or even some uh, mango or cantaloupe? That would be delicious. And then uh, we're going to top that one off with just a little bit of uh, some red onion here. How's that? <clears throat> that sounds good. Just to give it a nice little garnish and finish. Looks good. So as, as you remember, I said these probably, in my estimation, came from Peru, from the, the docks. Uh, typically, the fishermen would bring in the fish in the morning. And uh, cevicherias still in, in Peru are primarily open only through lunch, because when the fresh fish is gone, uh, the, the cevicheria is closed. So um, imagine yourself uh, in this lockdown of, uh, you know, let yourself be transported to the tropics of Peru where you're going to have this incredible ceviche. <laughs>